coming here to a place where it's much less inhabited than the markets where the product is sold to is already an indication about the pristine waters, the untouched natures. To have met your suppliers who grew up in these incredible environments and respect and value these places. After, when it comes to sell the product and to explain to the customers what is so special about the product, I think you can only do that if you saw by your own eyes this incredible nature and this incredible place the product is from. My name is Michael. I'm working for the company Golden Sea Breeze. My family is involved in seafood business or fish business since the 60s. We had this tradition of our family being in the seafood business. It came naturally that we decided to get involved in the caviar business as well. Sustainability is a strong word in the industry these days. My name is Cameron Perry. I'm the president and general manager of Walcan Seafood. I'm third generation in the seafood business. Walcan was a company that my father started and my grandfather on my mother's side also owned a company in Washington State that my father grew up working at called Olympic Fish. And as he became a young man, he had the opportunity to travel throughout Alaska, spending some time in BC. So his idea behind the name of Walcan was Washington, Alaska, Canada. Often we'll refer to programs as an ESSR, extra salmon spawning requirement and it indicates that this run has a surplus beyond what is required to sustain it. The reason why the Quinson program works so well is every single fish is counted and accounted for. If you want to find a way to participate in the future of the industry, you need to find a way to foster very, very strong relationships with First Nations. And if there's one thing that I believe is gonna foster the best relationships with most First Nations, it's honesty, transparency, and communication. They have the right to know where the fish is going from their territory. They have the right to participate in any of the business that's happening in their territory. And if you can find a way to collaborate on that, you'll have some of the strongest, longest lasting relationships that you could ever ask for in business. For us, it's just making sure that we're meeting escapement goals. When there is low numbers, we have to all do our part. My name is Ronnie Chikaid. I'm the elected chief of the Wewakai First Nation. And I'm also here today to represent Allegay Fishery Society. And today we are in the traditional territory of the Liquita people, which is the Wewakai, the Wewakum, and the Kwika people. We appreciate Walcan and Golden Sea Breeze on collaborating with us on this ESSR fishery. It's such a huge benefit to the nations, so I definitely appreciate all the work that they do on their side of the table. For Golden Sea Breeze and also Valkan, sustainability is not only a word, but it's something that is put into action. I think we're in an age where relationships define the business more than the business defining the relationships. The reason why that plays out very, very well for Walcan with Golden Sea Breeze is because it's a very, very strong fit. Their business values are the same as ours. To find someone who has a home in Germany or a home in France, and they know where Quadra Island is and they understand the value of fish coming from the Quinsum River system, it's a really, really strong match for doing business because the relationship is put first. Walcan's product is, of course, is freshness and taking care of the more pay attention for quality. But the biggest thing is for me is customer what they want, customer what they need. That's very important for me. My name is Kazunari Hashimoto. I came from Japan. My job is a Walcan Seafood and Export Product Manager. I'm working here since 1994. He is a real professional. He knows the product very well. And the way Kazunari Hashimoto talks about the product is amazing. You can really feel his passion for the product. It's almost like an artist talking about his artistic work. I think a part of a product I'm thinking about art. It's just, you know, it's very, it's no any manuals, of course, all experience. That's an art. But it's, First priority for me is high quality as my basic. Ikura's product has several qualities. On one hand, there's the taste. The person who is eating it should 
taste the freshness. Then, besides of the taste, there's also the texture should be nice. The size is an important criteria. So a high quality acura should taste very, very fresh, like it's fresh from the ocean, which is present in this. This freshness, pureness, simply amazing. In the seafood industry, it's the most important fact. We are standing just next to the river where the fish comes from. It's processed immediately after coming out of the water. What is so specific about the Ikura from Quinsim River? Once you taste the product, it tastes very fresh. Sometimes it's difficult to describe it or to put it in words. You, you can only feel it when you, when you taste it. It has a clean, untouched, precious nature, and this produces the most unique seafood in the world, I would say. Caviar is one of the most delicate and appreciated products. I try and bring passion to our business every day. It is certainly a lot easier to bring passion to your business when you have customers who are just as passionate about the products as you are. Besides of the professional work, also having friendships overseas and not everybody has this chance or this, this luck to be able to travel to such beautiful places. I'm really excited about the future um, of our cooperation between Golden Seabreeze and Walkan. When I come here or when he comes over to Europe, we can chat about what are new tendencies on the market, new product ideas, and it makes it very interesting and exciting thinking about the future of this business. For me, it means that I did a good job. I selected my supplier well, I selected the sourcing region well, and I brought the product that the consumer is enjoying. For me, it makes me happy because it's like, it reminds me the reason why I do all these.